Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a discrete matrix space XD and we have to prove that every Cauchy sequence in a discrete matrix space is eventually constant. And with the help of it, we have to prove XD is a complete matrix space. Okay. So actually two parts we have to prove. So let us focus on first part. Let us start with a given information. What we have? We have a discrete matrix space XD. Okay. So let me mention what is discrete matrix. Definition of discrete matrix is D of X, Y is equal to zero. If X and Y are same, two points are same distance is zero. It is equal to one. If X is not equal to Y, that means if two points are different, two points are distinct, then the distance is one, which is fixed. That means in the discrete matrix space, we have just two distances only zero and one points are same distance zero points are different or distinct. We say the distance is one. We have to prove every Cauchy sequence is eventually constant. Eventually constant means what? It is a sequence whose first terms are different A, B, C, D, whatever getting and after some, fi some fi finite terms, you will have just P, 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 all terms are same. When you talk about the sequence of real numbers, the example we can take like this 2, 3, minus 1, 4, 5, 7, minus 8 like that and after that you will have all remaining all terms are same 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 like that. So we have we can say it is a eventually constant sequence, right? So we have to prove every Cauchy sequence is eventually constant. Let us start with one arbitrary Cauchy sequence. Let Xn be any Cauchy sequence in XD. Okay, I have taken any arbitrary Cauchy sequence. We have to prove that it is eventually constant. Obviously, I am going to use the definition of Cauchy sequence, right? For given epsilon. But see here, I will take epsilon is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, for epsilon is equal to 1 by 2, obviously it is positive. There exists n belongs to set of natural number such that d of xn comma xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. So by definition of Cauchy sequence, I got this one for given uh, epsilon positive, there exists a fixed natural number such that d of xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N, right? But see here epsilon is 1 by 2. So let me replace epsilon by 1 by 2. D of xn xm less than half for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. Here n and m both are natural numbers, okay, which are greater than or equal to capital N. You can take any natural numbers n and m, but those should be greater than or equal to capital N. What will I do? I will fix my m, okay. So in particular, in particular so my i am fixing my m that means we will have d of xn x capital n less than half for all n greater than or equal to capital n. now small n can vary getting but our m is fixed which is capital n right so let me remove this part we'll get some more space to write let us continue here so as I told you earlier, we have in a discrete matrix space, we have just two distances, zero and one. Here we are saying the distance between Xn and X capital N is less than half. Distance is less than half. So you cannot take one. So distance will be zero. This is the only option we have in a discrete matrix. So therefore, distance must be zero. Get it? distance must be zero because it is less than half and we have just two distances. So it should be zero. Tell me when we get the distance is zero, if both points are same distance is zero, that means points are equal, right? For all n greater than or equal to capital N. What it means? It means if our small n greater than or equal to capital N, all Xn will be X capital N. That means we are getting sequence like this x1, x2, x3 and so on up to x minus 1 terms can be different. But after 
nth term we will have just xn 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 only getting that means all remaining terms are equal to xn so this is called eventually constant sequence so therefore i can declare therefore xn is eventually constant eventually constant so that means we started with any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we proved that it is eventually constant. So let me mention, therefore, every Cauchy sequence, every Cauchy sequence in XD, okay, obviously where XD is a discrete matrix space, is eventually constant. That means the half part of this uh, example is done. So now we have to prove the next half that is XD is a complete matrix space. Just make a screenshot of it. Then we will go for the second part. See now to prove that XD is a complete matrix space. First of all, tell me when we say the matrix space is complete, if every Cauchy sequence is convergent, then we say the matrix space is complete. So here also we will start with one any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we will prove that it is convergent. So let a n b n e Cauchy sequence in x d. Okay, I am taking any arbitrary Cauchy sequence. Our target is to prove it is convergent. Okay, but see just now we proved every Cauchy sequence is eventually constant. That means this Cauchy sequence is also eventually constant. Implies n is eventually constant sequence eventually constant sequence that means by definition of eventually constant sequence there exists some fixed k belongs to set of natural number such that n is equal to a for all n greater than or equal to k it means we have suppose sequence uh, n like this a1 a2 a3 and so on up to a k minus 1 but for kth term, you are getting all terms are a, just like a, 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 like this. Okay, so this is eventually constant. See, we got it is eventually constant. What is our target? Our target is to prove that it is convergent. So now I will prove this sequence n will converge to the same point a. Okay, we are familiar with the definition of convergent sequence. We want epsilon. So let us start with one epsilon. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. I am taking any positive uh, real number epsilon, right? Consider, consider, I am going to consider d of n comma a. So we know that if it is less than epsilon, then we can declare n converges to a. So my target is to prove this d of n comma a is less than epsilon. But see, n is equal to a, so I can replace n by, so let me put d of n comma i since my n is equal to a but there is one condition also when it is true if our n is greater than or equal to capital n then only it is true so i copied the condition also and so that's why i could replace n by a since both are equal both terms are same the first term is a second term is also a so that's why the distance is zero okay in our definition of discrete matrix we have seen if both points are same the distance is zero so that's why the distance is zero and 0 is obviously less than epsilon. So this is less than epsilon. Okay. So let me remove this part and let us use this space. So therefore, let me conclude d of n comma a, d of n comma a and what we have got, it is less than epsilon. It is less than epsilon. I should carry this condition also. What is the condition? n greater than or equal to k. But see, this is definition of convergent sequence, right? d of n comma i less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital K. So therefore, we can say n converges to A in XD, in XD, right? Therefore, we started with any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we proved it is convergent. Therefore, every Cauchy sequence in XD is convergent. And this is definition of complete matrix space. Every Cauchy sequence is convergent and we declare the matrix space is complete. So therefore, XD is complete 
metric space. So in this way, we have finished this example. Just make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.